Hello, everyone. Um, I would like to welcome you to uh, today's coffee lecture um, with ETH Library. Uh, my name is Miklos. Um, I work at uh, the library in the information department. And um, in today's issue, we would like to um, take a look at dimensions um, and research in this database. Um, it will be a quick look. Uh, we cannot go very deep in 10 minutes, uh, but I think um, we will be able to uh, get a short overview um, of the basic functions um, of this tool. So um, let's dive right in. Um, as you can see on, um, on this page, we've got um, uh, we've got a page on our home site, uh, on our homepage uh, for dimensions, where you can uh, get some um, useful links um, uh, regarding dimensions. Um, and the second one here is uh, the tool itself. So um, if I open uh, the Manjus uh, homepage, um, we will get um, the basic uh, the basic uh, overview of this of this tool. Um, we've got um, all of the indexed publications here. So this list shows all um, of the um, indexed uh, publications um, inside uh, of the database. Um, as you can see, we've got uh, some filters on the left-hand side. We've got um, a so-called analytical view um, or a selection of those um, on the right-hand side. And we've got... Um, Miklos, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you. We can't see dimensions. You can't so, oh, see. It's only the PowerPoint. Um, now? Yes, thanks. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. Um, yeah, PowerPoint tends to, um, uh, to do some to do some stuff um, with Zoom, uh, which, um, yeah, it's sometimes a bit hard to, to follow. I'm sorry for that. So, okay, um, once more, um, we've got um, a basic um, hit list here. We've got filters on the left-hand side, the analytical view um, uh, page on the right-hand side and the search box um, at, at the top. Um, We've got dimensions um, in a, um, a basic uh, variation, which is um, um, accessible for all um, independent of affiliation. But ETH Library is also licensed um, uh, dimensions analytics, which is um, a more powerful version of the, um, uh, of the tool um, and offers more um, possibilities to um, interact with the database. Um, and to access that, um, you will have to be inside of the ETH um, IP range of the network. So um, either being um, on site or by connecting via VPN. Um, additionally, um, it is also recommended to um, log in uh, into, um, the, uh, into the tool. Um, you can uh, do that by... Um, by logging in um, at the right upper corner, um, and you can use your short name at ethz.ch address, and then you will be able to log in via your ETH account. Um, uh, okay, anyway, um, these are just uh, two things uh, which will help you um, access the, the whole range of the uh, um, possibilities with um, dimensions analytics. Um, analytics, uh, dimensions analytics is, um, is a, um, a tool to um, uh, search uh, through the database um, in the background. Um, and this is a bibliographic database. So this, we are trying to um, look for publications, for papers um, and similar. But as you can see, there are also um, different um, other types of documents um, in the database, such as data sets or grants or policy documents as well. And these are only accessible via the uh, extended uh, license. So uh, please make sure you're inside the network. Um, so let's start by just um, um, just small search.
um, dimensions will um, look um, in the free text and in the metadata of um, all the uh, publications in the database, um, regardless whether you get um, you've got access to the full text or not. And you will see um, we've got the uh, the number of hits um, at the top, and we got the list um, um, as you will see um, here. Um, the first thing I would um, like to show you is um, how to access um, a full text if you are just looking for a um, certain um, paper. Um, you see here um, a lot of uh, times there's a view PDF button um, here, uh, which you can use to access um, PDFs if they are um, already available. <clears throat> the system will um, check for you. Um, in most cases, this is because um, the paper has been published in open access. Um, we can also use uh, the filter here um, at the left-hand side to limit um, the, um, the hits to open access, for example, um, so that you will be able to um, access all of those papers, regardless whether um, there is um, a license from the library or not. Um, there is also um, at many points an ETH get it button, uh, which will uh, redirect you to um, the Swiss Covery catalog. And the system will check whether we've got um, a license for this. Um, in this case, this is open access as well. So you will see here um, all the uh, full text options uh, for this paper. Um, and in most cases, there's also download PDF button also in the catalog. So if you need to access the paper uh, right away, you can uh, just do so by uh, using these um, options. Um, I will go back to um, dimensions. Um, there we will see if I click on one of these um, hits, um, I will see um, a full um, view of, um, of this paper. With, uh, the date, uh, with the title um, where it was published, uh, the DOI uh, um, link as well, and um, all the um, relevant metadata, including the uh, publication references here. Um, so what um, was referenced in this paper. Um, on the right hand side, we will see uh, research categories, which you can use to um, uh, search further in the same category and also see which um, categories would uh, have been um, uh, have been given uh, to this uh, to this paper. Here you can see there's also uh, the get it button um, here and um, in, some, in some cases there is also full text link in the external sources uh, section here. Um, so if there is no um, download PDF uh, or the ETH get it button is not uh, shown, you can also try to um, find this link here if there is a full text um, option um, because um, the paper has been um, given access um, for uh, all. Um, we've got some metrics here also. Um, these are dimensions metrics, uh, which shows total citations um, and also um, some uh, normalized um, ratios, uh, which in this case is not available because um, it's a bit, um, uh, the, the numbers are too low. Uh, we can maybe look uh, for another, um, for another uh, paper afterwards. So um, this is a basic search uh, which I did. So I, I just had some uh, some keywords and I entered them in the documents field um, in the search field to um, uh, to have the option to look for all um, uh, for all uh, publications with this. Um, there is an, another very interesting option um, in dimensions, which I can use. Um, I can just take a part of the abstract or the full um, and copy it here. And then um, instead of keyword search, I will choose similar document search um, and click on enter. And um, the system will try to, to find similar documents um, depending on, uh, on this abstract, um, which will uh, hopefully uh, give me some um, other documents which, um, uh, which have been written on the same topic. 
um, as you can see, um, all publication um, types have been set to 500 because um, I, I'm only able to search up to 500,000 or 2,000 of these kinds of documents. Uh, but 500 is, is more than enough um, to, to try and, and, uh, and find uh, similar um, relevant documents um, depending um, on my search. And just a second. Um, yes. Um, let's choose one of these again. Um, it is, really doesn't um, matter much. Um, as you can see, most of these fields are clickable, so I can just um, do another um, search on. Um, with the same filter, so I had this abstract and the similar document search, and I uh, want to um, limit it to only um, fields of research education, um, so that um, I can also um, limit the search after I um, have been looking uh, into some of these papers in the hit list. I can, of course, use this um, also um, in different combinations. Um, I can only look for um, publications in education, um, or I can try and choose more of these and limit my search. And this applies uh, not also to research categories, but um, all of these filter groups. So I can also uh, choose publication type, for example. So I, want, uh, I only uh, want to find preprints in the education and um, educational systems um, fields. Um, I can do that also. And what I, uh, I also can do is um, well, um, save these um, uh, filter, um, uh, these filters so I can um, use them for all my searches um, in the future as well. And uh, let's take a short look at the analytical views. Um, we can see here this um, information on the right hand side. Um, this applies to all of my um, publications. So um, uh, all of these almost um, 1 million uh, publications I have here in the hit list. Um, and then I can uh, take a look um, how um, and which categories um, I have found in uh, with my search, how many of them are, um, well, in this case, open access, um, which are the, the relevant researchers or the ones who have published um, a lot in this, um, in this list, um, and so on. I can click on analytical views here, and then um, it opens a, a more detailed um, view of this information. Um, so I can uh, take a deeper look um, into all of this um, here as well. And I can also, um, depending on, um, on the analytical view, I can also uh, choose different uh, types of visualization uh, to uh, try and, um, and limit my, uh, my, my hit list uh, to uh, some relevant and, and workable, um, uh, workable um, number as well. So um, I might um, want to take a look um, at which research organizations um, in uh, my search is a really relevant work has been published, um, at which places, which countries, um, which are the uh, prominent publishers um, in this case, um, and so on. Um, this is, of course, um, can be very um, very deep, uh, so there's a lot of there's a lot of things we can uh, we can do with this as well. So um, yeah, it is um, already 15 minutes um, over. Um, so let's stop here. This is really just a very quick um, overview. If you'd like to do um, some um, some deeper looks, um, you can always. Um, um, get back to us and um, and ask us about um, how it works um, um, in depth, uh, and we can help you with uh, with any um, deeper functions of the tool. Um, if there are any questions, um, we'll be happy to 
I try and answer them now. <laughs>